Welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a dachshund on the rainbow loom. As you can see, it has the long body, a really cute snout, and you can make it brown. I used a tan color with darker ears for this one, and this one is black with brown ears. So they all come in different colors. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use actually skin tone colors. It's a nice little burgundy color from Rainbow Loom. It's the brownish color in the skin tone pack. I thought that would be a cute coloration. And you can use black ears or just keep it all brown. I'm just going to keep it all brown for this one so it looks more like this one. But you can change the color of the tail the little capping bands and the ears to be whatever color you'd like. So let's get started. You will need around 115 bands and it is a single loom in a staggered position. And arrows, if you're facing this way, arrows facing down or arrows facing to the right. So let's get started and they're all double bands. So we're making the head first. Place it in the middle of the loom right here, going to this pin. Then we're going to take go on this middle pin to the right, then the middle pin to the left. Okay, then we're going to go down and complete the head. And right here, we're going to stretch the band to right here on this pin. That's a lovely lovebird in the background, so don't mind him. Now we're going to do the left side of the head. And the same, stretching that band. Now we'll work in the middle. And then finally connecting it to this bottom pin. Okay, so that's the head. We'll work on the snout right now. And you can see it comes out a little bit. So we're going to need one band for the nose. I'm going to use black for this one. And then the rest for the snout color. It's going to be three bands. So a single band. Wrap it around your hook four times. You can also use beads. Then you take three bands, so one, two, three, place it on the hook, then place that little nose in the middle of those three bands, place the three bands back on the hook, take another single of your head color, and place the nose on that band. Okay, now we're going to place your snout right on this pin. So it is one, two. Then we're going to bring it down, place the excess band, the snout right here, and then bring this back up and connect it to this pin. So it should just look like this. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. And I'm going to use black, bead, black bands for the eyes. You can also use beads. So wrap it around your hook four times. Four, and another black before. Okay, now another of the fur color and place your eyes on the band. Okay, so those are your two eyes. Then place, you can use beads for these two. Place right here and then bring that middle part of the band on top of this one 
and then connect this just like that. So it kind of looks like a little diamond. So it should look like that. And you can use beads for both of these. Now we're going to work on the neck and it's going to be a triple band. So three bands make the neck a little thicker. Now we're back to doubles and we're going to connect this middle bit the middle pin to the right. Okay, we're going five stitches down for the length of the body and they're all doubled. So here's one, two, three, four, and number five. Now we're going to connect at the rear. So it connects this pin to this pin. Then we'll work on the other side of the body. Okay, just working our way down. And then again, connecting these two pins. Now we'll work in the middle. Go to this neck area, double bands, all the way down. Finally to the end, and now we can work on the feet. So the front of the feet are going to be a single going up. Okay, so I'm going to make, I made brown for the capping bands for these, and then for this one I'm going to use black. So I'm going to take a single again, wrap it around the hook four times. Then take a double of whatever color you want your leg to be. Place that little capping band on there. Then we're going to take another double and place that on there. And that is your front leg. So I'm going to place that on this pin. And then I'm going to take another one over here, repeat. So I'm going to take a black and wrap it around four times. Then I'm going to take another double of the fur color. Okay, and then another double. Okay, and I'm going to place it right here. Okay, now the hind legs are a little bit different. I made them a little bit thicker. So it's instead of one band going straight, it's going to be two at the top. So I'll show you. I'm going to make it on the loom and I'm going to use a double of this fur color. Then I'm going to take another double and place it over here, connecting to this pin. And then the skinny part of the leg, I'm going to use another double. And then I'm going to use the same black capping band wrapped four times around. Okay, and then I'm going to loom forward. If you made my Clydesdales or my uh, Yorkie, I use these same techniques. Take it off the loom, 
then we're going to place it on these two pins for the hind legs. So take the first little bunch and place it on that pin. Then the second little bunch on this pin. So it just looks like that. We're going to repeat and go on this side. So take another double, another double, and then finally another double at the bottom. Black capping band four times around, and then loom forward. I'm going to grab this band, and then I'm going to place them on these two pins. So the first bunch right here, and second right here. Okay, this one came off, so it's easy fix. So I'll take it back off the loom, and I'll fix it on the hook. And I'll just place my hook right through, grab that band, Bring it through again and connect. Okay, we'll place that back on that loom. Okay, so it looks just like that. Okay, so now we're going to work on the tail. The tail is one capping band, one, two, three double bands in a row. So I'm going to use, I'll make a black tail with this one instead, and black ears. In the beginning I was going to, I was going to make it all the brown color, but I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I'll make it opposite of this one. So black, wrap it around the hook four times, take another double, Place it on the double, so that's one, then a second double, then a third double. And this is your tail. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we're going to place it right here. Okay, now we're going to do the ears, and the ears the same thing, but it's instead of three, it's two. So I'm going to take black, wrap it on the hook four times, another double, and then another double, so it's two. And then we're going to place it on right here on this pin. Okay, then we're going to take another one over here. So single wrapped four times around. Then another double. And then another double. And we're going to place it on this pin. Okay, 
so now this is how it should look. I'm going to put structural bands on now. These are all singles. And we're going to make it like a little triangle right here. Then another triangle. Another triangle. Another here and here. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five triangles. The tail, two hind legs, the front legs, the snout, the triple over here, the eyes, and the ears. And this is your layout. Now we can start looping. And then when we're done looping, we're going to actually sew it together like I did with my Clydesdales and my Yorkie. And it's a round body. And it looks super duper cute. So our top band is this middle band. So we can pull the tail and grab this top band. Okay, now my next band is this left band. And then my right band. Okay, so now I'm going to loom all the way forward to this pin. And we're only grabbing the bottom bands. Okay, bottom bands. And then this bottom band going to the middle. Now we're going to do the same on the left side going up. Now we're going to grab this diagonal right at the bottom. Okay, push that down. Now we'll work on the middle. So that's the body. So now we're going to work on the neck. And remember, it's a triple band. It's right on the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to work on this middle band and bring it on top of the snout area. It is this band right here. The uppermost band. Okay, bring the snout right through it, just like that. And don't mind the bird in the background. Then we're going to grab the left band and bring it to this pin. Okay, now we're going to grab this band on the right side. Now we're going to work in the middle and just go loom forward. So we're going to put our pin, our hook right through this pin, grab that bottom band, hook it on this pin, go up one more, and now you have the middle. Now we're going to work on the right side. And then we're going to grab this band underneath the ear. Now the left side, and this band again, and this is how your 
dachshund is supposed to look like. So make sure it looks like this. You're going to grab two bands to make a slip knot on the top right here. Pull it through. Make the little knot to secure it. And now you can slowly take it off the loom. Okay, this is a triple right here, so it's a little thick. Bring that snout out too, so you don't lose it. Okay, put the loom to the side. So now he doesn't really look like a dachshund right now. You can pull out his ears, bring them down. Bring out the eyes, bring out the nose. Now his body is flat right now. Bring out the legs. Okay, just like that. And now I'm gonna show you how to make his body round. So first, you're gonna see three bands, one, two, three. We're gonna grab this band right here. First take a, a single band for your um, skin uh, fur color. Grab, put your hook underneath this shoulder band. Bring it across to the other side where that shoulder band is. So it looks like this. So you can pause this and make sure that yours looks like this. Grab this single band, bring it underneath, make a little slip knot, just like that. Now we're gonna sew this together. I did this with my other animals also. And we're gonna go to the next row. So we're gonna take the right side band right here Go all the way across and go to this left side band. So it looks like this. Grab the, the end of this band, bring it under, all the way through, pull taut. Now we're gonna go to the next row. I'm gonna grab this next row, the bottom band, go to the next bottom band, so it looks like that. Grab the band, bring it under, pull taut, we're sewing the body together. I'm going to go to the next row, bring it under, and under, right across. Bring that band underneath, so sew it together. And we're gonna do one more. Go to the bottom, bottom. Grab that band, bring it under, and pull taut. So now at this point, you can either put a C-clip on this and then attach and then hide it within the body if you want, or what I like to do is I'll take a scissor, snip it in half, don't lose the bands. You can take one side of this band, find another band, pull it under any band you want, and then you basically tie a knot.
so that will secure it too because I'm tying it with, within a band. So a double knot or a triple and you can hide these excess bands inside or you can just snip it. Just like that. So now the body is, tight, is together. You're going to want this triple band. And we're going to bring the neck up now. So take that triple band, put your hook underneath it, pull it like this. So the band moves and the head goes up. Bring the legs down. Just like that. Bring the back legs down. The tail is down right now. If you want it up, put your hook into this bottom band. Bring it up again. You can also do that to this second band. Bring it up. Just pull it. And now the tail is up. You can pull down the ears, pull them like that, and then pull them down. Hide this in the back within the head. Okay, and this will actually make the back of the head more fuller too, so it's more 3D. It's more round, and you have a cute little dachshund. So, and he will stand by himself. Pull the body out longer too, and he stands. He's super cute. You can do all kinds of different color variations. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. See you soon.